The Five Bloods, what a gorgeous poster, by the way, I really love it. Um, the film is up on Netflix now, it's directed by Spike Lee, starring Delroy Lindo, Jonathan Majors, Clark Peters and Jean Renault and Chadwick Boseman in smaller roles. As is expected of Spike Lee, this is a very black film at its core. It tells the story of four black Vietnam veterans who, after many years, go decide to go back and find the site of one of their old missions. Um, during that mission, they were supposed to recover a crate of gold belonging to the US government. Then they decided, once they recovered it, they decided to actually steal it for themselves, to hide the crate and retrieve it at a later date. But between the death of their leader and subsequent turmoil in the area, they were unable to do so. Now they do. Now they had that chance. So they want to find the gold, they want to find the remains of their friend, retrieve all of that and go back. And that journey is used to sort of comment on the effect of war on people, the PTSD, the long-lasting impacts, but also on racial issues connected more or less to the topics of war as well. The, the disproportionate amounts of black soldiers in the US Army at the time of Vietnam War. And on the other side of that, the fact that the black folks felt disenfranchised despite laying out their lives for their country, a country that you know ended up hurting them for years to come. It sounds very timely released considering the current protests in America and the traction of Black Lives Matter, even though, of course, the movie was actually shot and completed some time ago already. And it kind of is timely. It manages to be very current and accurate with some of its commentary. And I say some of it because I had the same sort of issues with this film that I did with the previous Spike Lee joint, Black Klansman. I think in both cases he tackles important topics, he is quite educational about them and he knows his shit, both regarding the history and the wider context and connecting that stuff to the present day issues to show you know, how little is actually being fixed. Problem is though, while conceptually that's all great, the execution is very heavy handed. Um, I feel like most of the time Lee lacks subtlety and just tends to hammer his points home so hard that you just feel like you're not being treated as intelligent audience. The director doesn't seem to trust you with understanding his message, and so he's very crude and direct with it. He over-explains. And that goes both for dialogue and for the visual stuff, like in this particular film, the usage of a MAGA hat that one of the characters is wearing. I thought that was very clever at first, but then went on and on and on and on. And then it was so overused that by the end I was almost bored by it. Um, there are also similar issues with editing, particularly with cuts to old photos and recordings that show, show us what the characters are talking about. Which again, really, most of the time I was just asking myself, do we need that? I, I do understand what is being said here. I don't need these additional visual props to, to, to help me understand that. And it's not the end of the issues, too. I think, um, tonally, the film is all over the place. It can't decide whether it wants to be an explosive action film or a sobering drama or maybe a black comedy. It's sort of connected to the tonal jumps, but the movie also ends up introducing a lot more subplots and characters than it would need, and so it seems unfocused. I think it would have been better if it narrowed down what it was going for. Um, kind of in line with that is also my feeling that the movie dragged heavily in the last hour. Um, I think there's a there's a good half half hour of material that could have been cut, and it would not only not hurt the story, it would improve it through better pacing. Because as it is, this is a two and a half hour movie that feels like a four hour one. As it is, you know, it kind of gets boring more than it should, and and certainly more than it promises because. There are good things in here. The first half looks like it's shaping up to be great drama. I think there's especially one performance, Delroy Lindo as Paul, which carries a lot of the scenes on his back, essentially. He plays a pretty complex character, one who we initially want to root for, but increasingly turns out to be an anti-hero, and then by the end ends up being pretty much the villain protagonist. And yet, even with the writing for this great, great character, Spike Lee goes too far, um, like he can't help himself and has to keep on digging through his subjects until there's nothing interesting left. So at the end of the day, The Five Bloods ended up being quite a disappointment for me. Uh, it's certainly worse than Black Clansman and much like that film, I thought that the concept was better than the execution. Sometimes less is more and subtlety is much appreciated and this is a perfect negative example.